They say an estimated one-third of all women will have the hysterectomy, okay, and gives you all of the other things. And now they've added, in 2011, recovery can take an average of 4.5 weeks. Well, wait a second. Your brochure says 4.5 weeks. But the doctor who you just took the breakfast and paid to come down here and stay at the hotel and she's a nice grandmother and blah, 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 you just told her to say and get up here and testify and remember her because she looked like a deer in the headlights, didn't she? I mean, I don't want to say anything wrong about her, but she was, she was something. When, I mean, at one point I thought she was having a mini stroke. I mean, I didn't even know what happened. She, they put so much information into her head that she couldn't figure it out. Wait, am I saying eight weeks? Do I say 4.5? I mean, could you see the wheels turning? She didn't know what was going on. And the reason is, is because the whole thing was totally illogical. Because their 2011 is still using the scam of 4.5 weeks. Now, why is that important? Because this was a supposed cure for a problem that didn't exist. This was a company that had decided they were going to prey on women now, and they were going to create a need for this surgery. Now, how do I know that? Well, we asked him, Mr. Ruby left off with, well, it would be interesting to hear some evidence about incidents before or after. Mr. Ruby, I had that. We had that evidence. I asked, uh, he said, Ron, if I get the name right, I'm going to ask him, how many procedures did you do before you ever did a division? Remember what her answer was? 200. Had you ever had a cuff behitions prior to using the Da Vinci? Zero. No. She had not one. You have that testimony anymore? The old fashioned way is where I asked her, you don't remember ever having a vaginal dehitions, correct? So here's the woman, not just any woman, the woman who actually did the surgery. The woman who actually did the surgery on this woman, who had done it for, I don't know how many years, she said it, a long time. She never had a vaginal dehiscence. Now, after you started using the robot, you did see it. She, her answer is rarely, because they programmed her, you can't say a lot. More than three, isn't that correct? Still rare with the amount of surgery I did. Before 2009, how many did you do? Probably 20. So she went from 0 to 200 to 3 for 20. Now, to be fair, when they got back up, then she realized, hey, 3 out of 20 is not rare. And so all of a sudden, she came up with, well, maybe it was 200, and then she just flipped out right on the stand. So whatever the hell was going on with her, I don't know. But the fact is, there was never a problem. Anecdotally, you had a woman who did the surgery here. And I know that it's, I'm making fun, but it really is no joking matter. It's you're taking now women's health and you're introducing a robot into the equation and you're having what exactly, by the way, exactly what happened to her. 